In this video, I'm going to show you how to screen mirror your iPhone display into your Android Smart TV right there. You can hop into Instagram, you can hop into YouTube, you can hop into any application and you'll be having your entire screen displayed on your Smart TV. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to easily screen mirror your iPhone into any Android TV. And do not worry because this works on any iPhone model, whether you've got an iPhone 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12 like mine or any other phone, it's gonna work. And it will also work on any Android Smart TV. The process is pretty much easy. All you need to do is just follow the steps carefully that I'll be showing to you today so you can actually mirror your iPhone and have a lot of fun in here by displaying everything that you've got on your phone here on your TV. So here we are basically at the home screen of my smart TV. This is how your smart TV should look like on its home screen. You've got a lot of applications, bunch of apps right there. You've got movies as well and a lot of stuff going on in here. So here I am with the remote controller of my smart TV, which is the accessory that I'm going to be using to actually manage my smart TV. And I'm going to repeat, it doesn't matter whether you've got a different brand than mine, it's going to work work pretty well okay so this tutorial works on any smart tv the very first thing in here that we need is actually wi-fi connection so we need a wi-fi connection at home which means that we need to connect both our tv and our mobile phone which is our iphone into the same wi-fi network so let me quickly jump into my wi-fi connection area right here as you guys can see, wireless connection, I'm gonna tap on it, I'm gonna switch it on, and this is my Wi-Fi connection in here, home Wi-Fi network, okay? I'm already connected into my Wi-Fi network here on my smart TV. Now, next up, I'm gonna connect my iPhone into the same Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna hop into settings real quick. I'm gonna tap here on Wi-Fi, and as you guys can see, I've got in here home Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna tap in here to connect into this Wi-Fi network. I'm already connected into my Wi-Fi network, so basically I've got my phone as well as my smart TV right here. Both of them are connected into the same Wi-Fi network. Now, it might be the case that you do not have a Wi-Fi network at home. Not everybody has a Wi-Fi router or connection at home. So hey, what if you do not have a Wi-Fi router or connection at home, but you still wanna mirror your iPhone into your smart TV? What's the process? Well, I've got in here a quick hack that you can also perform in order to connect without having a Wi-Fi connection. But in this case, you're gonna need a second phone, okay? And this second phone can actually be an Android phone or an iPhone phone, it doesn't matter, as long as it's a mobile phone. So what we're gonna be doing in here is we're gonna use this phone right here, which is my second phone, as a Wi-Fi router. We're gonna create a hotspot network here from this device and then we're gonna connect both our devices, which is my main iPhone, as well as my smart TV, to this device right here. And this device is gonna work as a Wi-Fi router. So in order to turn on the mobile hotspot, it's pretty easy. You're gonna tap in here on settings real quick. We're gonna tap here on personal hotspot. And then next up, we're gonna tap here on allow others to join. So I'm gonna quickly turn on this toggle right here, and this will create a Wi-Fi network in here. Now, let's quickly connect our smart TV first to this network right here. So as you guys can see here, on my smart TV, I've got in here iPhone hotspot, which is the hotspot created by my second iPhone in here in order to connect my smart TV into my mobile phone's Wi-Fi network. So let me quickly connect it here. It asks for my wireless password, and as you guys can see, my wireless password is right here, which is one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and exclamation mark. Let me quickly type that in right here. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and then we've got in here the exclamation mark. I really enjoy using this keyboard in here, which is the virtual keyboard from our smart TVs. I'm gonna tap on enter and then here we go, boom, network is now connected. So I already have 
my smart TV connected to my second phone's hotspot and I'm now gonna connect my main phone into the same network as well. So here we go, I'm gonna tap on settings and then I'm gonna tap here on Wi-Fi and as you guys can see, I've got in here iPhone hotspot, which is my hotspot in here. I'm gonna type in my password, which is one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and then exclamation mark. And then I'm gonna tap here on join to connect into the Wi-Fi network. So here I am, I'm already connected into my iPhone hotspot, which is the network that I'm using as my Wi-Fi router. So once this is done, we're gonna go back into our smart TV to continue all these steps. So we're gonna go back here into the home screen, which is from where we're gonna continue these steps. So basically the first step is already done, which is to connect it into a Wi-Fi network. And the second step is to actually hop into the app store. In my case, the app store is right here. And do not worry because in all smart TVs, you actually have an app store because it's from the app store where you're gonna download applications, okay? So we're gonna open up the app store real quick. And here in the app store, we're gonna hop into the search button right there. So I'm gonna tap on search and then we're gonna search for an application, which is the application that's gonna help us in actually metering our iPhone into our smart TV. So we're gonna search for cast, which is known as C, a and then s and then t so basically we've got plenty applications that actually helps us mirroring our phone into our smart tv and all of them are known as cast we just have different names like we can have iphone cast we can have a screen cast and many other names but do not worry all you need to do is just search for cast and whichever application you find you can actually use it for the same purpose so in my case i've got in here an application which is known as cast in the purple color this is the one that i'm gonna press on it so simply tap on ok and then over here we've got my application already opened now in some cases it might request you to update or to install the application again from scratch which is not my case in my case it already launched but if you have a brand new smart tv that you have just bought you might need to tap on install it's going to ask you to install so the first thing we're going to be doing in here is actually check the device name of our smart tv right here in my case it's smart f791 as you guys can see in here you need to double check the device name of your smart tv and then we're gonna hop into cast your phone okay so we've got in here three options which is cast your phone and then we've got cast a video and then we've got cast your laptop because you can also cast mirror cast to your macbook or anything as well so i'm gonna go in here into cast your phone and then i need to hop into iphone we've got two options which is iphone and then we've got android so i'm gonna keep it selected on iPhone. Now, if you have a different application than mine, it might be having different terminologies, but the concept is exactly the same. You need to go into cast your phone and then iPhone. Now we're gonna hop into our iPhone real quick. Here I am on my iPhone. And the next thing we're gonna be doing in here is simply opening up the control center right here. And then we're gonna find it right here, these two little rectangles, which stand for screen mirroring right side to side to your rotate button right here. So we're gonna tap here on the screen mirroring and then we're gonna tap here on Smart TV F791. Remember, this is the name of our Smart TV device right there. So over here, we're gonna simply select the Smart F791. It's gonna take a couple seconds to connect into our Smart TV and then boom, we've got the tick mark and immediately my image is now there on the smart tv as you guys can see everything that i'll be doing here on my iphone is going to be displayed here on my smart tv so now you can actually scroll down and actually navigate through your phone and actually have everything displayed here on your smart tv 
This is super, super cool because you can also watch videos and a lot of stuff in here that you've got. We can easily open up YouTube right here. As you guys can see, this is my YouTube channel. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as you guys can see, if I open up a video real quick right here, it's gonna display the entire video that I'm watching here on my phone here on my TV. And here we go. This is super, super cool because you can actually represent anything that you want here on your smart tv this is super super cool and i hope you actually found value here on this youtube video if you find my content useful here on youtube consider subscribing to the channel and leave a comment down below thanks for watching fixed by shack and i'll see you in the next one